Hi, Neil O'Connor here, wanting to talk to you today a little bit about a reflection that I, I find myself revisiting over the Easter period. I find Easter more of a reflective time than say Christmas or any other time. And if you're in the Christian tradition, it is a great time for reflection. Some of it I struggle with and some of it I don't. But many years ago, in fact, over 20 years ago, I created a piece and it was on This Is My Body. And Holy Thursday is really a time that I reflect on that. They're the words of the Eucharist and Holy Thursday. It's all to do with the Last Supper that Jesus had. And he said, this is my body. This is my body right here, right now. And you can do the same thing. Put your hand on your own body and say, this is my body. Do you listen to your body? I have to put my hand up and say, there was a time that I wasn't listening to my body. I wasn't listening to, to what was going on in my body. So much so that I ended up on the flat of my back with a post-viral in this state. Not pretty, absolutely not pretty. I had aches and pains throughout my body. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I found everything was just running through my body. I was so overstressed. I can say that now, given all the training I've done and, and in hindsight, isn't hindsight a great thing really? I was extremely overstressed. And the effects of that stress on my body were really telling. I was so overstressed that my digestive system wasn't working and my immune system wasn't working. And then I got a virus or a, a pathogen was clearing in my system. I couldn't clear it. My immune system wasn't working. And that's what led to, to what was called a post-viral illness. I know today in, in my world, kinesiology, people are, are struggling with post-viral symptoms after COVID and we call it long COVID in some cases. It's to do with the body being overstressed and not then being able to heal itself, retune itself back to health. That's why I call my work retuning because we can literally retune these cells. And when it comes to stress, generally it's around thought processes because it's the thoughts you think that decide the food you eat. It's the thoughts you think that decide the water you're going to drink today or whether it's going to be coffee. Your decisions come from your thoughts. And when you're overstressed, those thoughts are subconscious and automatic. And it's the stronger neural pathways in your brain that get to work when you're overstressed. And if there are negative automatic thoughts around, I can't cope without sugar, I need sugar to comfort me, whatever it is, all playing away subconsciously in there, you're not even aware of it half the time. Well, guess what you're doing to your body? And when your body's in pain, it's letting you know there's dis-ease in your energy system. So this is my body. How's your body? Are you in pain right now? Are you finding it hard to exercise, even drink water? Do you find you just are in a vicious cycle of sugar, sugar, more sugar? Do you find you're overstressed? You're in constant negative thinking patterns? you know, this is your body and this is the starting point. It was for me over 20 years ago. I was on the flat of my back, as I said, with a post viral illness and I started a course. It was the beginning of my recovery, I suppose, out of the state. I was diagnosed or assessed with having post-traumatic stress syndrome. I was So I was constantly triggering a stress response and the illness, the viral illness was was the final result. It was my body saying, this is your body here and you can't keep this up anymore. And I had to start listening because when you're in extreme pain all the time and you can't sleep and you're not eating and you've no energy and you're just always stressed, 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 you know, your warning signs are there. You, you ha there has to come a change. I was at my lowest ebb. I didn't think life was worth living anymore. And I drew this. Now, when I work with colour, I tend to work with my less dominant hand and I tend to just let it work on the page. And this is what was created. This came last. And it was around the whole thing of the Eucharist. And that's why the reflection came back to me. And I went seeking this piece out to look at it again and to sit with it again. And I was so grateful at the journey I've made. You see this, this sort of black image here coming up with the hand over like this. This was me at that time, totally negative, totally down on myself, totally criticizing myself, not giving myself a break, in a lot of pain, not sleeping, not eating. This is it here. 
And this is what came as I explored a little bit. And, and, and don't ask me where it came from. But what it did was bring me a little bit of reality and a little bit of hope. Hope in a power greater than me. And that's what I see Eucharist is all about and, and the whole thing of, of a faith-based living. It's about the more than. You see, I was given this body. It's my gift in this universe. It's my earthly dwelling place. And if I don't treat it well, then I'm in trouble. You've been given your body. All of us, it's our gift. And if you were to stand in front of your God right now, or the divine, or the more than, or whoever, even yourself in front of a mirror, and you were to put your hand on your body and say, this is my body. Are you proud of what you've created? In other words, is there pain there? Can you sleep? Can you eat? Are you happy in yourself? And if you are, then be proud and be truly grateful for what you are. I'm truly grateful for where I've got myself to now. And it's taken many years of dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of trauma, a lot of results of stress and trauma, some physical blows, some some like car accidents and even physical blows in childhood of that. And I've had to deal with that and work with that because I believe that whatever life I have on this earth, it's worth being pain free and, and happy and joyful and getting on with enjoying my life. Are you enjoying your life? That's the question. Where is your body right now? How is your body? That's the starting point. And then what can you do to help it? To help it be the best it can be, to help you be the best you can be, whether it's your mind, your body, your soul, whatever it is.